To my boss, I can see this eating you alive. My boss, we'll call him Steve, is one of those guys who's always attached to his email. Whether he's at his desk or answering them from his phone, he will stop the conversation immediately and read the email. No warning. The sound will go off. He'll stop mid-sentence, read and reply to every email. This annoys me. A lot. While going over a very important project, well into the 40 to $50 million range and long term, I'm briefing him on talking points and covering the PowerPoint on the projector. A few slides in, he gets an email. Immediately Steve pulls out his phone and begins reading and replying. I've dealt with this for years, and this is where the revenge begins. I'm on slide 6, and while he's buried in his phone, I progress the slide to 13 and patiently wait for him to end. He looks up, oblivious to my trickery. Mind you, he has to present this within a few hours to top-tier business management and this a project that we've been working on for months. I finish briefing him on the rest of the slides, we take lunch, and eventually the guests arrive for their briefing. Steve's taking charge of the meeting, and I retreat to my office, where I can still clearly watch the presentation but don't have to participate. Steve's hobnobbing, talking our guests up, laughing, and joking. As he's talking to one particular VP, he gets an email, and in normal bleep lord fashion, he stops mid-conversation and reads it. The VP did not like this, not one bit. He interrupts Steve's email reply with a hand wave and a, let's continue. This is where I get my second idea for revenge. Eventually Steve gets to the PowerPoint presentation, yammering on like he's the one who spent all the time on the fancy fly-ins, formatting, research, etc., until he gets to slide seven. I can see him pause, break his jovial manner, and begins reading word for word what's on the slide. He's no longer chipper and poise, he's floundering. Little does Steve know that I'm about to launch an email war on his psyche that he is ill-prepared for. See, since I've been in my office, I've been collecting all the emails that came in that needed replies, drafted the replies, and have them sitting on my desktop. I've cc'd Steve to every one of them, because I'm just that good of an employee. As he skips to the next slide, I send the first email. I hear his phone jingle. He pauses and instinctively reaches for his phone, throwing him off his presentation. He looks around and then continues. A minute later, I send the next email, then after a short pause, the next, and the next. I can see him sweating bullets, his brain imagining some catastrophic failure somewhere in our building, in shipping, in product sourcing, etc. But he can't check his emails without breaking from the presentation and pissing off the executives. It's still going on. I have about eight more emails to send, and he has about an hour until he'll be able to slink away and cower over his phone, like Gollum holding a one ring. I'm glad I went to work today. Edit. Steve is an over-the-top kind of guy. He wants to know everything. It's common for me to CC him on important emails. He has not caught on yet. I also fixed the spelling of Gollum. Update. I just made myself a bagel with cream cheese. It was delicious. The meeting is still progressing. I've sent a few more emails and have drafted more. Update 2. The PowerPoint is finished and I've set up the next part of the program, the video conference. No one's taken a break yet, except Steve. He had to go to the bathroom and was in there for at least 10 minutes. He responded to two of my emails. Update three, Steve came into the office to see if I can run for some food for everyone. I told him I was really bogged down with emails, but I'm sure I can find some time. Update four, I've sent 57 emails to him today, only one directly. I've rescheduled the janitorial service, which was four emails alone, plus their responses. I've sent an email to the entire staff and local regional team, over 100 people, requesting computer information for a software integration project and instructed everyone to email myself and Steve with their results. Update 5. Holy end of the world, Steve's phone died and he forgot his charger. I heard him banging around his office, let out an exasperated sigh, and then head for mine. I quickly plugged in my company phone. Sure enough, he wants to borrow my charger. Sorry, Steve, my phone's almost dead and I have a conference call in 20 minutes. The look on his face and the air of defeat around him is palpable. I think he's going into withdrawal. He's honestly pulled his phone from his holster three or four times, either to make sure it was really dead, or because he's feeling phantom vibration notifications.